and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiki and today's video is by popular demand. You guys are always asking me what my current exercise routine looks like and how much I had to exercise to lose all of the weight. I am down a total of 66 pounds and the truth is I did not exercise much. So I'm going to share all of that with you guys today. But real quick, before I get into that, I am going to show you what athletic wear that I use. You guys are always asking me where I get my clothing. And this company, Vet Sportswear, makes really attractive, durable, high-end athletic wear. And it's affordable. They seem like they're always running sales on their website, which I love. They were really awesome and gave me a discount code for you guys with no minimum purchase. So I will be linking all of the items that I'm showing you today in the description box in case you guys are interested in any of them. Okay you guys, so this is Yvette's Shift Light Razorback and it is absolutely beautiful. It has this gorgeous mesh detailing and is super, super supportive. It's got this adjustable strap here in the back. As you can see, it's super flattering and well-fitting. What I love about them as well is that they have full sizes. This particular bra comes in a size small all the way through a 5XL and it comes in three different colors. Okay, so now I am wearing the Power Back High Impact Sports Bra. And again, it is super, super supportive and it has all this pretty detail here in the front. And I love this gorgeous crisscross pattern here in the back. It also has the adjustable bra strap, which I love. And it also comes in sizes small through 5XL and in five different colors. I love that their bras are so flattering, but also super functional. So this is the Shift Light Mesh high impact sports bra. It is so pretty and still super supportive. This band really keeps everything from slipping and it keeps everything in place. Again, this one as well has the adjustable bra strap. Again, all the bras I'm showing you today come in full sizes. This one comes in two different colors and it is just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so this is another favorite of mine. It's the Flea Anti-Skid Sports Bra. Again, super supportive and really pretty. It's got this really gorgeous mesh detailing and this mesh is super high quality. It's not gonna be tearing or falling apart. This band, again, helps keep everything in place. Nothing slips. It's such high quality. It has the adjustable bra strap. Again, super flattering. I love all their bras. Okay, so last but not least, these are the Shift Light High Waist Leggings. They're so incredibly flattering and comfortable. I don't think I've ever had a pair of leggings that I love so much. They're super soft and really supportive. This waistband is amazing. It will not slip at all. And these come in a size extra small through an extra large and I am wearing a size small. Okay, so exercise routine. Like everything else in my life, I like to keep things as simple and sustainable as possible. The truth is when I was losing weight, I was so burned out from all these extreme exercise programs and extreme diets that I just wanted to take a break. I was coming off of having dieted and worked out at extremes for a whole year and I had lost 20 pounds but I was burnt out, I couldn't do it anymore. And that's how I found Dr. McDougall and plant-based nutrition. And these doctors talked about how all you have to do is walk, just go for a brisk walk every day and that's a great place to get started. So to me, that was like music to my ears. So guys, the whole time that I was losing weight, all I did was walk. I walked briskly for 30 to 40 minutes every day and that is it. If you're just starting your fitness journey and you don't know where to start, walking is a great place, especially if you're really overweight or have joint problems. Just taking a nice gentle walk or a brisk walk if you can manage it is a really great place to start. People a lot of times like don't want to believe that that's all I did to get the weight off, but honestly, getting the weight off has way more to do with what you're putting in your body than how much you exercise. But of course, it is extremely important to move your body and stay mobile. Okay, so my current exercise routine. Nowadays, I still like to go on a walk every day if I can manage it because this cute guy has to be walked every day. So I try to take him most days on a 30 to 40 minute walk. And then about three times a week, I like to do band work. And you can find them at Walmart or Target or on Amazon and I'll find a link. I get mine on Amazon and I will link it for you guys in the description box. But they come in different weights. This one's really easy to stretch, this one's harder, and then this one's really hard. This is an extra heavy band and you guys will see me using this one today. 
But three days a week, I like to add just some simple band work and that helps keep me toned and tight. I do have a medicine ball and a BOSU ball, but those are things that you really do not need. I will show you a few movements that are advanced movements that I do do on those, but you don't have to do them. And if you're at a gym, you have access to those things. So don't go and spend money on those. It's just for extra credit. So that's basically it guys. But on the days that I just do not have time to go for a walk and do band work, or I just wanna do something different, then I head over to the Body Coach's YouTube channel. And this guy is amazing. His name is Joe Wicks, and he has an incredible YouTube channel that is full of workouts that range from beginner, all the way to advance and all of his workouts are like 30 minutes or less he has a ton of workouts that are 10 15 20 minutes and you're gonna move your whole body you're gonna get your heart pumping and you're gonna firm and tighten everything up i love joe wicks i have been following his channel for years I have a little crush on him. My husband knows it, he's made his peace with it. I'm a big fan of his 15, 20 minute workouts, especially when I don't have a lot of time. And like I said, they're great for every range from beginner to advanced. My mom, who's a senior and has knee issues, she does his workouts because he's got these wonderful low impact workouts that still move your whole body and get your blood pumping. So make sure you guys check him out. I will link some of my favorite videos of his in the description box as well as his channel and let him know that Kiki sent you because it would make my year for Joe Wicks to know who Kiki is. Okay guys, I'm gonna be starting with this black extra heavy band and I'm gonna put it down around my ankles. I'm gonna stand with my feet shoulder width apart and we're gonna be focusing on our hip flexors, glutes, quads and hamstrings and we need to remember to keep our core in tight. We're gonna get down into this squat position and we're gonna be moving from side to side. Now getting into your squat position is really important. You wanna make sure and keep your knees over your toes, never allowing them to go in front of your toes. So once we get into our squat position, we're gonna move in one direction. I like to go for 15 reps and then come back in the other direction for another 15. Again, I will put this all in the description box for you guys. So for this second exercise, we're again going to be using this black band and it's going to help us with our hip flexors, quads, hamstrings, core, and it's going to help project our booty out, giving it that nice round appearance. So we're going to start with our feet shoulder width apart, our core in tight, and into that nice squat position. We're going to squat back at a diagonal, then bring our feet together, and then you squat back at a diagonal with the opposite foot. Diagonal together, diagonal together. And I like to do three sets of these, usually between 15 and 20. Okay, so for this third exercise, we are simply going to be stepping back into a lunge. Again, keep your core tight. And when we step back into this lunge, it's very important to have the correct form. Just like in your squats, you wanna make sure that your knee is not going past your toe. You wanna to keep your knee right over your toe and not lean forward and make sure you're going straight up and down into this lunge and push up through your heel and that will help get that booty popping. I like to do about 10 reps on each side and I like to do that three times. All right, so these remaining two exercises are with the BOSU ball and medicine ball. Again, don't go spend money on these things. This is purely for extra credit. If you're at a gym, you can give it a try, but they are very advanced moves, so be careful. So I like to get on the BOSU ball and find my balance and then do some simple squats. Again, making sure your knee does not go past your toes. And for an extra boost, this is a 12 pound medicine ball, so I often do squats with the medicine ball on this. For the second advanced move, it's a single leg RDL, which is difficult on its own on the floor, so I would start there before you try to do this on a BOSU ball. But this has really helped me gain a lot of strength. And you simply tip forward, extending your leg, and then bringing it up. It's great for balance and overall core strength as it forces you to use so many different muscles at once. Again, for extra credit, you can pick up some weight and give this a go. And I had to master this move on the ground before I could move to the BOSU ball. Now for upper body, I just like to do a plain old push-up. It is so good for working out so many different muscles and keeping things nice and firm. As with every other exercise, it's important to keep your core in nice and tight. 
get down into a nice plank position and you can see all the muscles in my arms are working hard. If this is too difficult, you can put your knees down and continue to press. It is simple and super effective. I've just thrown on some shorts so you guys can see what my legs are currently looking like. You can tell I'm definitely very toned. My calves are even toned and I don't hit them specifically. These moves just seem to use all of your muscles and that's why I love doing them. You can see that my arms are nice and lean and toned, not hugely muscular, but definitely nice and toned. All right guys, so as you saw, this is a super simple workout. This is how I keep things tight and toned. This is not a routine that's gonna help you put on a ton of muscle. This is just to keep things lean and strong. Again, if you're just starting out and you've never really exercised, I really recommend just starting with a nice brisk walk every day. And if you're looking for more than that, definitely check out The Body Coach and his beginner videos. He really is such a valuable resource and so much of his information is free. He is not plant-based, however, so I do not endorse his diet, but definitely his workouts are amazing. And remember guys, to keep this journey about health and not just about the skinny, I encourage you to learn to love and appreciate yourself while you work on the things you wanna change. Self-love will always move you further than self-hate. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.